Meet Najin. When she arrived at the Alpajeta Wildlife Conservancy in the Kenyan Highlands five years ago, conservationists had high hopes. At the time, she was one of only seven known northern white rhinos in the world. She was moved to Kenya from a zoo in the Czech Republic, together with her daughter Fatu, her half-brother Sunni, and an unrelated older male called Sudan. It was hoped the two females could fall pregnant naturally, but that's still not happened. Mohamed Doyo has worked with a rhino here for the last 25 years. They arrived here 2009 and 20 December. I am with them since that time. I'm taking like they are my babies, brushing them, cutting their nails, dehorning them, that is chopping their horn, purpose of security and pilot, such thing. The future of the northern white rhino may now rest with Sudan, but he's already reached the vulnerable age of 42. This is a major mammalian species. Um, which is, which is um, going to probably or potentially go extinct, notwithstanding technological improvements in reproductive sort of health matters, going to go extinct in our lifetimes. Technology is constantly evolving, and the team hopes that DNA and surrogacy could present possibilities for the future. There are quite a number of scenarios that are possible in this particular one. The best will be a natural mating. That may be challenging based on one, the advanced age of some of these animals. And so science basically, um, embryo transfer, transfer of semen and an ovum, or using an alternative surrogate mother would be an option. There are 130 rhino at this sanctuary. But with the demand for rhino horns still high and a drop in tourist numbers over security concerns, Protecting them has become even harder recently. Maria Galang, CCTV.